In the third part of the video, I'll be discussing with you on total variance explained and scree plot. First of all, let me tell you what are we doing yeah, in this segment. We are making decision on how many components of factors to retain. Yeah. Remember what we are trying to do? We are trying to reduce our items. And we have several criteria yeah, for extraction. We can go through the eigenvalue. We can use a theoretical perspective to justify our items or components. Yeah, uh, how many factors to retain. We can use the scree plot and we can also use the parallel analysis. There are many other methods as well. Yeah, but we'll be focusing on these four here. So first we look into eigenvalue first. If you look at the first part here, we had eight items and what SPSS has done, it has just maintained the first two here. Yeah, We have two components over here. Why? Because we set our eigenvalue just now in SPSS equal to 1. So automatically, what SPSS has done, SPSS has already stopped over here. Why? Because the following components, the values are less than 1. Yeah. So what we are going to do next is we are going to focus over here. So SPSS has already told us that we have two factors. If you look into this value, yeah, we have 63.114 here. Yeah? So technically, how did we get this value here? If you add up these two values yeah, for component 1 and component 2, you will roughly get around 5 point something. And if you divide with 8 yeah, and times with 100, that's how you get this 63 here. So technically, the total value here, if you total up everything here, you should be getting 8 over here. So what is this 63 trying to tell you? Yeah. So rather than focusing over here, I would look over here, which is the total variance explained. So the total variance explained is 63%. So what are we trying to say? We are trying to say we have reduced the 8 components here to only 2 yeah, over here, but we are still able to retain 63% of the information, okay, or which is the total variance explained. So that is what we are trying to say from here. And a general rule of thumb that is used in order for us to say that, okay, whether the total variance explained is sufficient or not, we have to make sure that the total variance explained should be at least 50%. So I've explained to you the first criteria, which is eigenvalue. The second method is using theories. Yeah? You can uh, refer back to your theoretical model in order for you to justify your factors. What I'll be doing now, I'll be moving to the third criteria which we can use in order for us to decide how many factors to retain. We can use the scree plot. So what is a scree plot? You can see on your y-axis we have the eigenvalues where we have got the eigenvalues from here. Yeah. And on your x-axis we have your component numbers where your component numbers is from here. So it's a plot yeah, showing a combination of your components and the eigenvalue. So how do we make our decision yeah, based on the scree plot? If you see up to the third component here, the difference is becoming smaller and you can see slowly the line is trying to level off. Yeah? It's already gradually dropping and it's slowly going to become flat yeah not really flat okay but it's moving into that direction here so the point where the change takes place okay that's where we are going to stop yeah so we can see that from the scree plot how many factors are there it's factor one and factor two yeah from here and to the second point where it reduces in a huge amount here so these are the two points that we are going to pick and it's similar to this table here where we have picked up component 1 and component 2. So what we have done so far, yeah, uh, in making decision on how many components of factors to retain, I've covered with you the first one which is eigenvalue. We have already looked into the scree plot. Next, we'll be moving into parallel analysis, yeah, which will be covered in the fourth part of the video.